Hey everybody, this is Brad over at Lee Miles Redding. Just have a kind of a cool transmission here that we're working on this week at the shop. So this is a CVT transmission. Now you may not know it, but a lot of people out there have CVT transmissions in their car. So it's a newer style transmission. It's been out for a little while. They got kind of popular in the mid 2000s, uh, like 2008, 2009 is when they really started getting popular in vehicles in the United States. So what we have here is a CVT transmission that we've taken out of the vehicle. This one here is out of a Jeep Compass and we've disassembled it to find the cause of failure. So this vehicle came into us in a no move situation, had no forward, had no reverse. So what we found here was this is the belt they refer to it as inside of the CVT transmission. It's made up of this ribbon of steel and then these tiny little pieces that hold everything together. So what I have here is a good example of what one that's together look like. So all those little pieces that are here are all right here, wrapped around that ribbon right there. So the point of that belt inside of a CVT transmission is to move these two big pulleys here. This is the heart and soul of a CVT transmission. So when power goes in on the primary pulley, the belt is then connected between the two and it drives your secondary pulley, which moves your vehicle. Here I also have one that is fully intact, showing that belt between the two pulleys. So this is a very common failure. CVTs have become a real big issue in our industry as far as having high failure rates. So this transmission here can be found in the Jeep Compass. It can also be found in a lot of Nissan transmissions. This is actually a Nissan product. So you'll find this same style transmission in your Nissan Altimas, your Nissan Rogues, and then they have a bigger one that goes in Maximas and Nissan Quest minivans. And they also have a smaller model that's gonna go into your Nissan Sentras or Nissan Versas. But they all are plagued by the same issues. So the number one we thing we can do to help prevent these kind of problems from happening is changing your CVT fluid. But you need to start when the vehicle is young. It's the most important thing. So normal automatic transmissions, they use typically anywhere between 130 and 150 PSI of pressure in normal operating. Inside of a CVT, we can be approaching 1000 PSI at a given moment. So that fluid has a lot of pressure on it and has to perform under really uh, difficult and high stakes. So changing the fluid, I like to say starting at 30,000 miles, if not sooner, and getting it done when you need to, 30, 60, 90,000 miles to help prevent something like this. So if you do find yourself in a situation where your CVT trans isn't working as it should, you're getting check engine lights, loss of power, hitting the gas pedal, but it just doesn't feel like it wants to move, give us a call right away, and hopefully we can prevent it getting to this point where we have to disassemble it and do internal repair.